I'm a Dr. Andrew Zabinajad. I'm an associate professor in the School of Sustainability, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Uh, and I'm going to give you an overview about the day and about the project. And uh, obviously, you know all that we are going to talk about bamboo for sustainable construction. A warm welcome from freezing Gilford. <laughs> so, a few, year, a few days a year, normally we have a freezing cold weather. And today and this week, technically, one of those periods. But uh, for uh, those of you who are joining online and don't know where the University of Surrey is, we are very close to London, about 35 miles away from London, and there are a couple of uh, airports near us. So you're more than welcome to visit us in the near future. And uh, we are in a small town called Guildford. Um, so lovely to have you all. Uh, a little bit about the background of the research center that I belong to, the Special Structures Research Center. It was established in 1963, and you can see on the slide the first building dedicated to the Special Structures Research Center that is called Nobus Building. And there is an interesting story behind the Nobus Building. In fact, the roof of the Nobus Building is a double layer grid, and the grid was uh, um, designed based on a particular connection. Uh, which was developed at the Special Structures Research Center. And the uh, British Steel, famous company, was uh, working on this new uh, scheme, and uh, the whole roof was designed and constructed somewhere uh, in North England, and it was load tested because it was in the early 70s, very early time of using these new systems. So they needed to make sure that the structural performance is based on the calculation. So they had built the 30 meter by 30 meter roof there, and then they put some uh, huge loads and studied the behavior of the structure. And after that test, they have donated the roof to the University of Surrey. So that was the main uh, reason that we have to know this building at the University of Surrey, and it was the first home of the Spatial Structure Research Center. Uh, a couple of uh, colleagues who were established the Spatial Structure Research Center on the slide you can see on the left, young Professor Nushi. And on the right, Professor Zedis Makovsky, who was the uh, first director of the center. And in fact, he was the director of the Special Structure Research Center from the establishment and the <clears throat> head of the Department of Civil Engineering for about 22 years. I, I think the longest serving head of the department. And so in 1963, the center was established. And since then, we had series of activities and uh, research in addition to uh, public engagement regarding the activities of the center. And one of those activities is the regular conferences that we organized since 1966 on a very unusual pattern of nine years. We have been organizing those conferences. And uh, you can see this on the slide, the famous dome of the University of Surrey. This aluminum dome was gifted to us in 1984 at the occasion of the third international conference on spatial structures. So this was a temporary structure, but it's it's there about four decades. So now it's part of the identity of the university. And last year we organized the seventh international conference on spatial structures. It was planned originally for 2020, and due to the known reason, it was postponed to 2021. And we had a, a good contribution from uh, around 50 countries from all over the world, and you can see some of the participants of the conference. So it was fully virtual conference for the first time, and we hope in 2029, we are going to have the eighth conference in person at the University of Surrey. So as part of the public engagement and uh, you know, knowledge exchange uh, at the Spatial Structure Research Center, we have started a, a interview series called Movers and Changes. So these are uh, short, relatively short interviews with uh, key people in the field of spatial structures from all over the world. And all these videos are available online on our uh, social media channel. And we have started to publish uh, an e-magazine, again, open access e-magazine with the same title, the Spatial Structures, Movers and Shakers. And we are going to, we have been featuring uh, some individuals as well as uh, some companies in the field of spatial structures. So again, the main uh, activity here uh, tries to expand the knowledge and tries to exchange the knowledge around the spatial structures from different parts of the world and make the knowledge available to everyone. 
So regarding the bamboo, we have started a few years ago in terms of uh, bamboo research. We try to understand the behavior of bamboo structure, in particular in terms of joints. There are many different types of joints, and we have started to understand the structural performance of those joints through some uh, scientific research. We are continuing those research with uh, understanding the behavior of members. And you can see two different types of hybrid members. These are uh, still uh, end caps connected with bamboo in uh, two different uh, situations. And we try to understand what is the performance of those hybrid systems, which, which could be part of a special structure and grid shell, for example. Uh, we also did some research regarding the bamboo grading. Again, we know that we are dealing with natural material and it's very important to understand how bamboo behaves on the different types of loading. So we have started to work on the bamboo grading as well. So you, you can see a four meter long uh, bamboo cone on the uh, full bending test. We have done a number of those and tried to understand how we can grade bamboo. Uh, which is obviously natural material and any uh, bamboo pole could be different from the other one. In addition to the research about bamboo, we have started to uh, design and implement a particular course on bamboo structures. And this was targeted uh, on civil engineering students. Uh, and we have started this by implementation of the four stage curriculum, which was designed and implemented last academic year at the University of Surrey. So we have four stages for this uh, curriculum. We have we start with the introduction, then we continue with the investigation about bamboo structures and exploration about different uh, available structures, and finally consolidation of the information that the students receive during the uh, during the course. At the introduction stage, we normally invite a number of designers and uh, professionals. Uh, Active, active in the area of the design and construction of bamboo structure. This gives some general information about the uh, you know, bamboo structures available all over the world. Then we continue the, uh, to the second stage, which is the investigation. At that stage, students need to identify one good example of bamboo structures with the available documentation about that structure. Then they are going to build a tabletop model, scale model of that bamboo structure with some bamboo elements. In that stage, they will realize what are the limitations, what are the challenges, how they can manage the construction of a, a you know, bamboo structure based on the reality, based on the case studies which are available in the real life. So this is an activity done in groups, and then the students are going to have an exhibition uh, to share their experience of uh, model making of bamboo structures. That would be a very active session for the students to discuss about the challenges they face for the uh, model making. Uh, and the next part is about the proposal of a bamboo pavilion in another country. So the students need to gather some information about another location. So those uh, last year, for example, we had two options, either in Mexico or in China. They had to identify a suitable location for a bamboo pavilion, and then they had to prepare a feasibility study for that bamboo pavilion. What type of local bamboo is available there, how they are going to treat, how they are going to design a nice pavilion, and the main construction material for that pavilion is bamboo. So you can see on the slide a proposal by a group of students for a bamboo pavilion in China at the Southwest Jiaotang University in China, one of our partners in educational activity. And the next example is another pavilion designed by another group of students for IFESA, a um, university in Mexico that we have been working with and collaborating with in the past few years. And finally, the fourth stage of the curriculum is about the consolidation. So the students are going to give a presentation about their pavilion, about their challenges, how they overcome with the challenges, and how they justify the choices about the avenues that they propose. So this package is something that we tried last year, and we hope that other universities uh, are going to amend, implement, and use this curriculum or similar curriculums in their uh, you know, studies. And this year, in August, we had the chance to organize a two-week workshop in Ipeso in Mexico. Again, a group of Surrey students went there and mixed by uh, students from uh, IPESO, and they worked on 
three different prototypes of bamboo structures. And the main uh, goal there was designing full scale kits for educational activities. On the slide, you can see the students after the assembly of a full scale steel kit. The denote system that are used in this steel kit are similar to the dome that we have at the University of Surrey. So, this is done by Geometrica, a professional company in the field of uh, lattice spatial structures. On the left, we have the equivalent bamboo structure, which is used lashing technique to create that structure. So the idea was working with the steel, working with bamboo, understand what are the similarities, what are the challenges, how you can design and build a structure with bamboo. So this is another structure, again, uh, designed and uh, prepared by uh, another group of the students in Mexico. So here we are using a hybrid system. So there are small PVC joints creating the connection, and these are very similar to the steel connection that I showed you earlier. So technically, again, practicality of bamboo, how you can use bamboo in a structural system, not only as a single element, but as a whole structure. And when you are working with different alternative material, you will have a better understanding of what's happening and how you can manage the construction. And finally, the third kit was uh, using uh, equinatural triangular units and connecting them to create different types of configuration. So you can see a relatively small tetrahedron in a large octahedron. And both of these are based on equilateral triangles. So technically, you have similar elements. And with different number of elements, you can create different geometries. So these are the types of the structures that we hope uh, in civil engineering and architecture in uh, education, we can implement and we can use to give a better understanding about the practicality and use of bamboo in construction. So the final stage of my talk today is about the particular project that we are here for. Uh, so bamboo for sustainable construction and quality of life improvement is the title of the project that we started in August this year. So this project is about the understanding of the use and practicality of natural bamboo and engineered bamboo in construction industry. So you can see a good example of using uh, engineered bamboo in uh, an indoor situation. So as far as I know, this is the largest area using bamboo as uh, part of the construction. Obviously, the, the elements here are not the structural elements, but they are uh, they, they have a role as cladding, internal cladding in, in the airport. So what we try to understand is how we can implement and use uh, further bamboo in the construction industry. So the project is sponsored by University Global Partnership Network. As Emilia Kaiser said, this is an establishment and collaboration between four different universities, University of Surrey in the UK, University of Wollongong in Australia, University of Sao Paulo in Brazil, and in North Carolina State University in the US. And these four universities have been collaborating on different research projects in the past 10, 11 years. And this year, we were one of the uh, you know, groups sponsored by uh, the UGPN. And this is quite a uh, collaboration. All four universities are involved. And throughout the day, my colleagues from all these uh, four universities are going to talk about their role in this project and what they do. So what is our goal? To expand the understanding and use of bamboo in construction. One of the practical challenges of bamboo is about the cracks. So we need to understand what are the uh, factors involved in the cracks, both in natural bamboo and in engineered bamboo, how it's going to appear, how we can control it. Uh, so there are similar studies, for example, in concrete. We know that there are cracks, and we know how to control it and how to make sure that the structure is safe, although there are some cracks in different parts of the concrete structure. So this is the knowledge that we need to gain about bamboo as well. So we need to understand how we can use bamboo in a safe construction, although there are some challenges and some potential uh, problems like cracking in, in bamboo. So what we are going to do in this project, there are several different tasks uh, in this project, seven different tasks in particular, and each group is going to focus on a particular um, you know, angle of, of this problem. Uh, from the micro scale and understanding of the crack propagation in the bamboo materials, 
to the macro scale and how to create a full scale bamboo structure, understanding what are the challenges and what are the reasons for the cracks, and uh, then working on the structural analysis and structural behavior of bamboo. Uh, you know that we have different software, we know how to design steel structures, we know how to design concrete structures. So this is the knowledge that we need to develop and we need to use, how to design safely bamboo structures in both natural bamboo and engineered bamboo. Uh, on the slide, you can see the list of uh, colleagues from each university responsible for this project. So uh, if you have any ideas in terms of joining the collaboration and you want to work with this project, you are more than welcome to contact myself or any of the colleagues in other universities. And we are uh, going to have, uh, you know, one of the aims of this project is expanding the collaboration around, around this project. So you are more than welcome to join us. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this gives you an overview about the uh, activities of the Spatial Structures Research Center and the particular project that we are talking about uh, today. Uh, we are going to have a number of different presentations today and uh, some of them are um, you know, from here, from Guildford uh, Broadcasting and some others are uh, other colleagues are joining us from Australia and uh, Brazil as well. So one by one, we are going to have short presentations, around 25-30 minutes each presentation, and hopefully short conversation after each presentation. Uh, 